fans of Boca Raton have emptied probably to get home and prepare for one of the best bowl matchups of the year. Two of the best quarterbacks in all of college football square off tonight as BYU junior Zach Wilson and UCF sophomore Dylan Gabriel will go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, both rank in the top five in just about every passing category. The Cougars looking for their 11th win of the year, while UCF will be trying to win five of their last six. Get your calculators out, folks. There could be plenty of math tonight. A little squibber right down the middle of the field, scooped up there by Caleb Christensen, and he'll take it out over the 10 to the 13-yard line. Takes care of the football. Tyler out here in the backfield, along with Wilson. First pass is caught out. Handoff to out here off the left side. Big hole. First down and more out over the 40 to the 42-yard line. Sunday player as well, and they want a lot to his side. This offensive line has been really good so far this year. Quick throw. Algier down the sideline. Can anybody stop him? He cuts it back. Oh, he tripped over the 15-yard line. Sitting at the 15-yard line. The play action. Wilson over the top to the end zone. Incomplete. Richie Grant. Aaron Robinson, two outstanding players, not with the team. And here goes Wilson. He's to the 10, to the 5, stretching it for the goal line. Give him six. He is second in the country, 372 yards passing per game. His first pass here is picked off, tapped in the air, and intercepted on the back end by Micah Harper. The come down with that football. You have to catch it. Look at it. Look at it. Hits him right in the face. And Opportunistic on the back end. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field of in interception is being changed to incomplete pass. Osteen's punt. Fair catch called for. BYU's second possession of the game. Wilson will play fake to Algier. Look at the throw on the run. Near side pass is caught out at the 40 yard line. It's for UCF. Not right on the back end. They'll split out, Jeer out. Coming near side where the pass is caught by Pau. Coverage, and they play a lot of man coverage from Randy Shane, their defensive coordinator. From the 41, Algier. Before they happen, so they're going to have to do a, a huge task tonight with this offense. The razzle dazzle back to Wilson, going deep, pass is caught, touchdown, Isaac Rex. Corner for BYU. He said, we, we do a lot of things formation wise. We do a lot of things to move the eyes of the defense. And you see eyes of Rex. He just was here on first and second down to start this drive. Now you open some things up in the run game. Gabriel going up top, looking deep, has a man. Robinson had it. Andrew Osteen will punt it away. Fair catch call. But well, we'll see if they do have it. As Wilson starts this one off, coming near side, pass is caught. They saw the numbers on third down conversions for BYU at 48%. Four-man rush, they'll drop it off underneath. Dax Mill trying to get that first down, he has it. Out to the point. Third and eight, throwing it again. Underneath route, caught by Mill. Another first down. 23 yards so far receiving. Needed 150, did Dak, for the single season record at BYU. Wilson over the middle throws a bullet across midfield down to the 40 field. Some pressure coming from the outside. Wilson moves it to his left. Pass is complete, but they're going to spot him shy of the first down. Pull there at the end. So a fourth and two. Wilson. Little sidearm sling, it's incomplete, and UCF will hold. They always talk about the juice. This is a play that can bring the juice for them. BYU brought the juice. Nowhere to go for Greg McCray. They come back, they have that free year to, to go if they want to go next year. Flag down. Long run into UCF territory. Headed by the defense. Offside defense number 94 lined up in the neutral zone. That's been declined. 
personal foul targeting defense number nine. That play is under further review. Just a, a few guys on the back end. They can't afford to lose anybody else. We'll see here. Now, this is the last thing that secondary needs. Yeah. Could not be able to help when you think about all the preparation that goes into the game. Some more razzle dazzle from the Cougars. Back to Wilson. He'll have the first down. It's They'll hand it off to Mill. Couple blockers out in front, inside the five, down to the now just inside the one yard line. This time Wilson keeps it himself. Gets a nice block on the edge from Brady Christensen. Their one man wall leads his quarterback into the end zone. They'll hand it off to McCray. Breaks a couple of tackles. Nice. Three-man rush. Gabriel slings it. And then they go fast, but they have to stay ahead of the chain to do so. No stay. Football. They're going to have a light box, and they have to be able to run the football. UCF. BYU bringing five. Gabriel over the middle. Pass is caught. First down. Gabriel keeps it himself. Fox right now. Handed off left side. Thompson has this drive coming up. Straight handoff. Going to McCray. Touchdown UCF. And boy, did they need that. For taking the Ole Miss job and creating waves throughout the Southeastern Conference. <laughs> Talk to some of the players. They said it was about 32 degrees, and so getting out there in that warm water was awesome. Speaking of warm waters, they're enjoying the warm waters of FAU Stadium 10. Algier, huge hole off the right side. First down. Holding. Offense number 13. I saw that coming. Yeah, he was a high school running back. <laughs> Zach Wilson will slide down around. UCF bringing some heat. BYU picks it up. That'll be a first down here. Best among their running backs. Hand it off to Katoa now. Left side and he'll get it close to the needs. 10 yards to reach 3,500 at BYU this season. And he just picked it up and did so. Not only does he have 3,500 passing yards this year, you can give him another touchdown pass. 32 on the season as Isaac Rex. Throwing the football, they've been good in the run game, but passing the football is where they have to get better. And that ball's picked off. Oh, they're going to say it's dropped to the turf. Big ground, like he had control of it. Maduva saw, thought he had the interception. Instead, of Nyberg back to return this punt. Telling everybody to get out of the way, and it takes a favorable UCF bounce. Pick up a flag. Well, Rogers actually saw the interview and responded. He texted Zach jokingly saying he was hurt by the comments. You're like Baker Mayfield, kind of confidence throwing the football. Here's Wilson. Throws a little bullet over the middle. That could First down and 10. A bit different to the defense, but it's the same plays, and they just find a ways to get to them. Wilson steps up. Throws a little off balance. Lofts it up. What a catch on the near side. Oh, my goodness. Lopini Katoa. Katoa, this is nasty. Look at him lay out for this thing and get almost parallel to the line of, to the field and go get that thing. Oh, man, Katoa. Really on the field on the previous play is catch there, resulting in a first down. That really is under further review. Hey, what's crazy is this total yards tonight, 400 for BYU, UCF at 165. And we're not even to halftime yet. A couple trick plays here and there, too, that worked as well. Wilson will throw. That arm strength lays it right in there. 
Powell with the touchdown catch. 35 yards, and what a throw from Zach Wilson. Defensive back is not even looking yet. Look at this. It's almost, this is what we call hugging the ceiling as a quarterback. You drop that thing in there. Falls right now, 17 out of 21. It has been a uh, an outstanding first half of football. Yeah, it, it, you just talk about this throw, just laying it out to him. Sometimes the guy that's so open is tough. And then you can see in the red zone, they use him as a threat to run. He can extend plays. And now you see him coming back to maybe a second or third read. He's looking right first. And then this is an absolute rope thrown out. And they put points on the board. It was all in the run game. But they're going to need to throw it here to get going. Empty set for Gabriel. Knight's his long this year is from 38. Got a booming leg. Accuracy has been a little bit off, but that one is dead solid. Perfect. Players about that game, and they all say, wait, man, we would do the same thing again. Yeah. We want to have a challenge. 10. EYU. Bringing five. Gabriel throws incomplete. <laughs> Later, you are off the field and punt. Punt taken by Nyberg, coming near side, midfield, out of the 49. Four man rush, drop it off underneath to the exceptional tight end. Hand off right side, big hole. Algier to the 20, to the 10, touchdown, BYU. 39 yards. Patuli just sit in the pocket and throw the football and has not taken the easy completion. That was bad. And then you got man coverage on the outside, that's tight. Going deep into double coverage, and that one is incomplete. With all in there, allowed the safety to come over and knock that football away. Osteen punts it away. Have an opportunity to get the football back. He's at the top of your screen. Dax Mill, first down. Needed 13, got 15. 12 yards of depth, and they're just checking it down, and Dax is running for the first down. Four-man rush here. Wilson goes underneath. That pass is caught. As high as he thinks that it should be. So he told me that uh, he's humble enough and thankful for the attention, but wise enough to know that he's... For you. I mean, he runs every round the route tree. Can be physical at times, but he's going to be a, a household name here soon. And keep, keep playing the way he's playing today. Tyler. First and goal now. Coming near side with an easy touchdown. Gunnar Romney. From six yards out, a good look. <laughs> Just go ahead and end that conversation. <laughs> Here's Ryan O'Keefe. You stay dark colors. <laughs> Slim. Soft three-man rush. And that one is incomplete. Trying to hit Jacob Harris. It's knocked down. It's really nobody over. Look, look at... There's somebody in the hip pocket of every UCF receiver. First down and 10, 6.44 to go here in the third quarter. Algier left side, another nice game. Trying to be a physical. Couple of tight ends for BYU, and they'll run it off the left side. Algier cuts it back to the middle and has the first down. He's dressed out, Stefan Zayas. He stepped in and said, hey guys, come on, this is not what we're here for. We still have to be together on this. Not together on that pass completion. You can think of a field goal. Wilson steps up in the pocket underneath. Pao trying to get. Surely missed. But of course, not having all those guys hurts. McCray again on the carry with a first down. He ran for 300 yards versus Houston, so they have the ability to do so. Gabriel slings it up in the air, and that one is intercepted, but flags come flying in. Pass interference, defense number one. Seventh play of this drive coming up. And it goes backwards. F7 of 15 on third downs. Goes here, pass caught, touchdown.
touchdown, UCF. I mean, think about that list of guys that have played quarterback. Algier breaks a tackle. First down, give him 11. They're putting on a show tonight. Algier, another big run across midfield. Holding. Offense number 85. You, you stay here while I go get hit. <laughs> Four-man rush is enough to drop. We're going a little pitch coming near side. Algiers. Third and eight plus. Big hit on special teams. Going BYU way now is Max Tooley. Picture perfect. Story will be excited to see him get back and play down in Tallahassee. Dylan Gabriel will be patient with it. And also they got home with times with three. The over under this game 75, right? There's still some eyeballs on this one trying to wonder if we're going to get there or not. I know that just happened to pop one today. Pass is on. Fourth and six. Gabriel throws to the end zone. Pass is caught. Touchdown. UCF Jalen Robinson. They'll fake it to Robinson. Gabriel throws back over the middle. I think that pass might have been deflected. Caleb Christensen back to return this kick. A little bit of a hole there. And his numbers, 393 yards and three touchdowns. Has a couple of touch, rushing touchdowns and 12 yards. Will handle, handle. Feels like, yeah. as I can as well. <laughs> the things we do, right? No doubt. Dax Mill. On that reception, like every week they were losing another one or two guys that were impact players defensively, and I think it all came to a head today against a very good offense from BYU. Not exactly the team you want to come in bowl experience. Fun every day because it's so different, and you don't get to experience the bowl game like most things that are happening the right way. In 2020, has been a struggle, but we've had football. Algier, another big run and a first down. Come back to four. Third down and 10. Wilson throws and the pass is caught. BYU will have it first. And a knee taken by Zach Wilson as they'll just run this clock out. It's BYU Cougar team. Algier had a great game running the football. How about 19 carries for 173 yards? Average nine yards a carry and a touchdown for him. Complete effort. BYU is going to win this one by 26. Their average margin of victory this year, 28 points. Second best in the FBS, only behind Alabama, who won their games by an average of 30 points. Coach Satake, Coach Heupel meeting at midfield. And UCF will, will go back home, regroup, try to find some bodies to play some defense, because we know they got some offense. The story tonight, number one, Zach Wilson and the BYU Cougars. Total offense record for a bowl game, 659 yards. Breaks their 1989 Holiday Bowl game against Penn State in which they lost a classic. 49-23, our final score as BYU knocks off UCF. That'll do it from Boca Raton.